Hi, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Okay, I have something so cool to share with you. I was playing yesterday with my design space and I was actually creating a layout and wondering if I could add a photo in pattern fill. And I figured out that I could. So I did, and then I used it to see if my colors were going to match up and gonna, that picture was going to look good in that layout. And I was very pleased with what I found. Well, then I started thinking, wait, this opens a whole door, a huge door to so many possibilities. And I thought I could use pattern fill with photos and cut all kinds of shapes, do Christmas cards, Thanksgiving cards, use it in my layouts. This is going to be great. So I was playing today a little more with this concept and decided to try a Thanksgiving card. So I went back and I found this picture of my little grand girl Lou and I thought, oh she's got on orange. Let's use this for a Thanksgiving card. So here's the card I created. Now let me show you how I did this. I went into Design Space and I pulled this pumpkin from Close to My Heart Artistry. Then I found My Happy and My Thanksgiving. The Happy is from Close to My Heart Art Booking and the Thanksgiving is from the Artiste Cartridge. Now this is one that I did just as a single layer and I flattened the entire thing. So I took my pumpkin here I put it on uh, a brown piece that I used pattern fill that's just with the subscription and then put my photo in and just put it on the shape and that's what I got. Now I also used this one okay, and put it on top and that's the card you're seeing. I did it sort of a multi-dimensional and put this up on 3D pop dots. So let me show you how I did this. All right. I actually went to this piece right here. Let me ungroup that. And I actually went in and sliced away part of this that I didn't want. You'll notice that it's a little different shape here. You'll be able to see this. Let me move this to the front. And you'll be able to see that I did slice away this part right here and this part right here. And I have some other videos if you want to check out my video tutorials on how to slice if you want to do that. Then I came over here, I hit this, I went over, I picked it up in my layers panel, and I hit print. When you hit that print, you have the option here to pick up patterns. So I picked up my pattern. I went to pictures that I had uploaded, and I tried different ones at different light intensities. Um, and I liked a medium light intensity for this. And there she is, right there. Now I can edit her by moving her to the right or to the left if I don't like exactly where she is. I do that here at this horizontal. I can also move her up and down. Now you'll see a little line appears here. You don't want that to show, so I definitely would want to fix that and move that so that line doesn't show. So then all you have to do is grab your Happy Thanksgiving, you put it on, you select it. Let's see if I can do that for you. This is really big, but you'll get the idea. I bring it on and my Thanksgiving, whoops, I need to move that to the front. I'm just so excited to share this that I'm just hurrying through this video, I think. But I was just so excited when I figured out I could do this. Um, so you bring it in like so, select all of it, 
come up over to your layers panel, hit flatten. Then when you're ready, you'll just hit your go button and you'll notice that when it comes up, there it is, ready to print. And then it will cut this outside into your pumpkin. The possibilities are endless. You can add font, you can add icons, you can add anything that's in your Cricut library to your photos. Then you can take those photos and you can cut them in any shape you like. You could cut them as Christmas trees for Christmas or gift packages. It's just crazy what you could do. You could do the word joy with a circle in the middle and have a picture in the O of your joy. I mean, the possibilities are endless as to what you could do with this idea. So I'm sure somebody out there has thought of this before, but as I was playing yesterday, I figured it out and I just had to share it with you guys. So any questions, any comments, just let me know. Hey, if you're unsure how to use pattern fill, I already have a video on that also. So check out on my blog, I have a tab at the top and it says um, videos, video tutorials. Check it out and you'll find it. It's worth learning this. This is so much fun. And believe it or not, this is a feature I never thought I'd use. And here I am, so excited about it. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Hope you learned something new. I sure did. Bye.